Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to the sports segment with me, Cookie, and Oreku Ampofu from Three Sports. Good morning, how are you doing? Good morning, I'm good. How are you? I can tell you're very good. Yes. I can tell. My breakfast never comes, but it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I'll forgive you for, for that. There's so yeah. much more coming up in the world of sports, and we're starting off with Kotoko. Mm. So much confusion in that camp. I'm told that, was it yesterday or Sunday? No, yesterday. It was yesterday. Yeah. Whilst they were training, some supporters just went in there to disrupt everything. Yeah. Yeah. Because they've been very angry. There's been seven games, six defeats. Yeah. Like, I think they're not win. looking good. Yeah, so what I, I what mean, can we do? <laughs> yes, you come up in my but this one day, when you come up in, what happens? Hmm. <laughs> the, the appeal is not coming back. But I, I think it's been it's been a very difficult period right. for Asante Kotoko. Mm. And you usually do not see fans react in this way yet we've over the past months we've seen the fans voice out mm. and share their opinion some have been very incensed by the results but whenever you see fans in ghana football taking things into their own mm. hands then you know that is tipped beyond boiling yeah. point and i think where the situation has reached right now mm. the only amicable solution unfortunately is if the technical team has changed uh, because from what I know, mm. when we saw the same thing with Heart of Folk also last year, they ended up sacking the coach. So essentially, the fans went to the training ground and decided that they're not going to allow this coach to train the team again. And unfortunately, in Ghana, mm. the fans are given that much power mm. because we don't have the right systems in place. Because in any right training facility, you don't even have happen. access, right? Yes. Yeah. They shouldn't because I mean, if if you've ever been to the UK or Europe, be before you would even get to the training mm, pitch, mm. the security measures that you would go through, <laughs> I don't think you can you can do anything like that. It's in a Europe. freestyle uh, environment yes, right here. But you know, it's a situation where Kotoko had to face, and um, you know, 50 plus fans mm. uh, were at their training ground. They arrived. I think the team was scheduled to train around 3 p.m. They arrived before. And they had rest scarves, basically not preventing the the team and the technical body from training. So mm. it's not it's not a good look uh, for for the club, and it's 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 not unfortunate that this is how maybe things had to end for Prosper Natogun because I don't see how he comes back from this, especially given the fact that the fans are not are not happy and will probably want to do this time and time mm, again mm. up until they get what they do want. Yeah. Uh, but. Uh, we, we did have some presence uh, at the training ground yesterday mm. uh, in Kumase, yeah. and uh, this report was put together. Okay. In fact, we are hearing that supporters numbering over 50 were at the training grounds waiting for the team. And when the team bus arrived for this evening's training, they threatened that they would not allow the team to train, especially that they would not allow the technical team to even get near the training facility. In fact, the report that we gathered indicates that it is the team manager, Henry Ohimbrina, who uh, the supporters allowed to do some shake-ups with the, the, the players. The supporters will continue to do that. Yesterday, when I spoke on uh, this network, I told listeners and viewers that that's exactly what the supporters are planning to do. That if Dr. Prothpanate Ogum, the head coach, will not resign, then they will force him out of Asante Kotoko. And indeed... The training was called off because the situation was tensed and there was insecurity at the Adakwajachi training facility of Asante Kotoko. Yep, so that was Richard Champon. He's the head of sports for Akuma FM and uh, he was at the, the... sports lives in him. Yes. Sounds like a it. commentator. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, let's get some more perspective on this Asante Kotoko issue, and uh, there aren't many uh, in a much better position to talk about Kotoko mm. issues in mm. Ghana when mm. it comes to you know all of this uh, than Jerome Autry, and he joins us this morning on Zoom. Jerome, it's a pleasure to have you here this morning. Uh, first off, uh, you've been with Kotoko for a number of years. You've seen the club evolve over the years. Is, is this something that you've ever seen, fans going to a training ground and preventing a technical team from training? Oh, of course. This is the second time in seven years, something like that is happening. Or is it six? Yeah, 
six, seven years. The last time was in April, and coincidentally, that incident was, was recorded in April. Maybe April are not good months for when they are technical teams. But it was in 2017 of April when uh, Serbian coach uh, Zravko Lugarosic was also chased out. Yesterday's incident might be a bit different in the sense that Ogum was not there. But clearly, if he was there, the fans uh, would have put up that uh, backward behavior they put up some, some years back. Much as it is disappointing, I don't find it surprising in the sense that you mentioned it in, in, in your presentation this morning that uh, when you don't have systems in place to check some of these misbehavior, you are going to have them recur. And much as it is uh, unfortunate for our football, unfortunate for Kotoko as a club, their brand and reputation, these things will happen when leadership is in abeyance. You know, some weeks into the IMC's administration, some of us said that that arrangement wasn't going to go beyond a certain point. After some weeks, it was going to show that they have serious weaknesses in running a club of the size of Kotoko. But, you know, uh, some people thought that we were only prophesying doom. But the reality is that Kotoko is so big, so many multi-complex issues at the club, you need a properly set up uh, administration administration to run the club. You need money to buy the best of players. You need to uh, decide what you want to do with the club within a certain time frame. If you don't do all these things and your focus is limited to what happens on the field of play, when the results on the field don't also come, then you are going to be in the kind of soup that Ogum and the rest find themselves. Well, you do make some very uh, brilliant assertions, uh, but I just want to hear from you, your opinion. What next for Kotoko and Prosper Nateogum? Is it? Do you expect to see a lot more of this in the training ground till something changes? Well, something has to change immediately because we cannot have the fans for the second time or, I mean, for the second day going to the training ground with the objective of sacking the coach. It doesn't have to happen again. What I expect the club to do is to call Ogun, and here I am making specific reference to the owner. I mean, with all due respect, I don't think the IMC can sack Ogun. He's part of the IMC. I don't see how he can be part of that team, and that team will turn around and say, we are dismissing you. It, it's not going to happen. What I see happening is either Ogun going to the palace himself and uh, make, seeking audience with the king and maybe pleading with him that on the basis of what is happening around the club, maybe it is in the interest of the club teams, or the powers that be making it clear to him that things are not going well, and if the fans think you are the problem, maybe you should be uh, kept away from the club until such a time that things are okay, and maybe you return. Otherwise, otherwise, I don't see how this is going to end. Where is getting to it is very clear that Olu, uh, the fans have lost their love for Ogun. Mm. And even if he stayed with the intervention of the king, it will be difficult for him to work peacefully as he did some months back. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Jerome, uh, for providing insight uh, on the Asante Kotoko issue. Uh, we do appreciate your time this morning. So, I mean, as you heard, it's not, it's not something new. When is that next game, though? Asante Kotoko, yes. they do play this weekend as well. Yes. And you know, the thing about... Um, Kotoko is that, you know, Ogum had three games before mm, this mm. and then uh, he, he's not delivered. He's not won any yeah, of the games. Yeah. Uh, last time I lost to Dreams FC by two goals to nil. So it's not, it's not looking good Chill at good. all for, for Kumasi Asante Kotoko. But we'll see what the developments are. We'll be, we'll be at the training ground today to, to find out whether anything specific happened.